Welcome or welcome back on C-Squared. In this video clip, we're going to talk about graphing exponential function using table. Yeah, this is an exponential function and you see it how they are similar, however different. Huh? So let's see the first one. All right, x, y, and I think I would like most of the time to start with 0, right? Let me see, I put it somewhere in the middle. Huh? 3 to the 0 power, right? If you remember that, is 1. 3 to the first power, 3. 3 to the second power, 9. Okay. And we can keep going, but if you notice, we do not have enough space to graph. 0 and 1, 1 and 3, 2 and 9, somewhere here, right? And what's happened to the left of y-axis where we have negative uh, number, negative axis, right? So here we have to do what? 3 to the negative 1 power? And that mm -hmm. is going to be 1 over 3 to the first power, which is 1 over 3, right? So we're going to have this guy here. What about negative 2? The same story. 3 to the negative 2 power is going to be 1 over 3 squared, which is going to be 1 over 9. Even closer, right? So I think it makes sense now to look to this graph on all real numbers, right? We, we have enough information. And look at here. This is the way the graph counts. One thing, this graph will never touch y-axis, which is y equals 0, x-axis, which is y equals 0, right? It goes up, its growth, right, increasing, I will never grow, it's increasing very fast, right? <coughs> Let's take a look to the second one. Again, we start with 0, 1 third to the 0, it's 1. 1 third to the first part, 1 third. One third to the second power, one ninth. And what about this one? Eh? One third, and then a negative one power, we can use the reciprocal of one third, which is three, change the power to positive. So we get three. And obviously, for negative two, we're gonna get nine. So now I guess we can plot these points and see what we get. We get negative two and nine, okay? Negative one and 3, 0 and 1, um, 1 and 1 third, 2 and 1 right. This is, this is the guy we get. Okay, so similar to that uh, red graph, the only difference is dk, function is decreasing very fast, the red one is increasing very fast. Uh, pause this video clip and try this too. There you go. If you have uh, this table and these graphs, you did a wonderful job. Okay. What about this one? Yeah, you see this one are very similar to the first one. The only difference we have a number in front of the exponential expression. Well, let's see the first one, right? Again, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, I'm sorry, negative 2 and negative 1. Okay? This one will be 3 to the 0 power, which is 1, times 2, will be 2. So all those outputs we have on the first graph, you multiply by 2. 3 to the first power, 3 times 2, 6. 3 to the second power, 9 times 2, 18. What about the negative one? That will be, if you remember, uh, and I'm sorry, it's 3 to the second power. Okay. So we have what here? Um, that is 2, 3 to the first power. Oh, we are good. We are good. Sorry. 18. Okay. So 3 to the negative 1, if you remember, is 1 third times 2, 2 thirds. 3 to the negative 2 power, 1 ninth times 2, 
two nights. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Zero and two, one and six, uh, two and eighteen. Yeah, that would be very, very up. All right. Um, negative one and two thirds, and negative two and two ninths. So we still kind of similar to the other one, but still increasing very fast. I will say it was. Finger it should not be the one intercept. Yeah, that gun is not zero one anymore, it's zero two. What about the second one? The second one, let's take a look at the second one. X, Y. Again, we have zero here. Uh, one third, the zero is one, is still two, right? If we have one, X is one, one third, right? With the first power is one times two, two thirds. Right? We have the other side of the table, right? Two nines, and negative uh, one, we're gonna get six, and uh, for negative two, we're gonna get 18. So, again, uh, negative two and 18, negative one and six, right here, zero and two, right here, one and two thirds, right? Somewhere here, two and two nines, somewhere here, right? Again, Similar of the other graph, the only difference is decreasing, decreasing fast. And let's take a look. You, you do this one, in fact. If you have this table or this graph, then you did a wonderful job. Okay, again, you may notice the y-intercept is 0, 3. Uh, this one, similar with the other one, the only difference the guy we multiply by is less than 1. But other than that, it's the same story. So we have what? Now x equals negative 2. We end up with 1 ninth times 1 half, 1 over 18. x equals negative 1, we have uh, 1 third for 3 to the negative 1 power, so 1 6 if we multiply by 1 half. If we have 0, we end up 1 half, if we have 1, we, we end up with 3 halves, and we have 2, we end up with 9 over 2. So how does the graph look like? And so let's start uh, with 0 and 1 half, right? that would be here. 1 and 3 halves, somewhere here, and 2 and 9 halves, somewhere here, and then let's do negative 1 and 1 sixth, okay, uh, and negative 2 and 1 over 18. So the graph is the same like the other one, the difference, one of the difference is the intercept to just 1 half, zero and one half, the one is right? What about the other one? Okay, the other one is going to be similar, right? If you, by now you notice this is going to be something uh, reflective, reflective over the y-axis, right? So we have here um, negative two, we end up with nine halves. Negative one, we end up with three halves. Zero, one half, one, one six and uh, two one over eighteen. So we have this point negative two and nine half three halves. Yeah, three halves. Uh, the other one was gonna be here, 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 and here. Okay, yeah. Go ahead.
ahead and try this one. If you have this table and this graph, you did a wonderful job. You see here, this is the y-intercept, which is 1, 0, and 1, third. Okay, so here we have a summary of all these graphs, okay? See, all of them are exponential function. If um, that quantity that is raised to a power is greater than one, we have growth. Those are the graphs that goes up, increase very fast. If the quantity that we raise it, to the x power is between 0 and 1. We have those fractions, right? It goes down. Okay, remember? It goes down, decreasing. All right? Um, all of them have a greater than 0. That's something to remember about. Uh, all of them have the y-intercept 0 and a, a being this uh, coefficient, this number that is in front of the exponential expression. All of them have, have the domain as a well, real number, the range. What we get out is only positive number, y greater than zero, right? You do not see those graphs going down under the x-axis. And very important, one of the first time probably for some of you to see a, what we call a horizontal asymptote, right? If you remember, the graphs do not touch the x-axis y equals zero, right? Or the other way, again, they do not touch. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button down. Right, and come back and see Scott for more math video clips. Thank you.